time that I saw it, I said there was something out in front of me that I, or outside the spacecraft that I couldn't identify, and I never have been able to identify, and I don't think anybody ever will. We were in drifting flight, and uh, my partner Ed White was asleep. Uh, the spacecraft had all the flight control systems turned off, and almost all the electrical equipment turned off except the radio. The spacecraft was drifting around, and I couldn't tell. I still don't know which direction it was pointing. It wasn't pointing towards Earth, but I couldn't see anything out in front of me except just the black sky. And as it was rotating around, I noticed something out in front that was a, a white cylindrical shape with a white pole sticking out of one corner of it. It had about the same uh, dimensional relationship of it as a beer can with a, with a uh, smooth pencil sticking out one corner of it. I couldn't tell how close it was, and I, I couldn't tell what the size was. Uh, depth perception in space is uh, not very good unless you know what the size of the object is that you're looking at. I thought I might uh, run into it, so I turned on the flight control system. It takes a while for the electronics to warm up. And uh, in the meantime, I grabbed two cameras which were floating in the spacecraft. Well, and I grabbed one and took a picture, and I let go of it, and I grabbed the other one and took a picture. Uh, as the sun shone on the window, I could no longer see out, and the thing just disappeared. Uh, I never did find out what it was, and nobody else ever did either. They checked the NORAD records to see what they had up on the radar, and there wasn't anything within uh, very close range of us. After uh, we landed in the, in the Atlantic Ocean, the films were flown back to Houston. I've seen the photos that were released. I've seen them uh, published in, uh, in magazines and newspapers. Now, I went back and went through each frame of all of the pictures that we took after the flight, and there wasn't anything in there like what I had seen. General, let me lay it on the line. Are you saying, do you believe that life exists elsewhere in the universe? Yes, Mario, I really do. Uh, I think it would be very naive and really super egotistical on our part to believe that we're the only form of life in all this vast, vast universe in which we live.